Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at one of my favorite Mac apps, and that is Hazel by NoodleSoft. Now, Hazel is one of those utility applications that comes in handy, especially if you need help staying organized and you want to stay organized automatically. You don't want to have to go back and move files around, but you just want things taken care of uh, all by itself. Now, Mac OS did add the option on the desktop for different file types to be grouped together in stacks, almost like stacks of paper on your desk. Uh, so Hazel can do that, but what Hazel does even more is Hazel can do all kinds of things like labeling uh, those particular files with a name, moving them to different folders, uh, creating folders, uh, looking for uh, different items that show up in a folder, and then moving them into wherever you want them to go in terms of your documents or if you want them to go in your photos library. I mean, it can really do a number of things uh, automated. And what's nice about Hazel is that it's a lot easier to use than an application like Automator. So it does uh, cause things to work smoothly. So this is the NoodleSoft website. If you're going to buy Hazel, uh, Hazel is $32. If you're looking at an upgrade, it is $10 if you've got a previous version of Hazel. So let me just go ahead. I've already installed it. Let me just put this window down. And Hazel lives in System Preferences. And you can see right here I've got an icon for Hazel. Let me just go ahead and click on that. And this is the Hazel interface. So you can see here I've got three tabs. I've got folders, trash, and info. And what I want to do in this screencast is give you an overview and a demonstration of how it works so you can see uh, why this is one of my favorite applications. Uh, you can see here that it's running right now. I can stop it at any time. I also can show the status in the menu bar, and, and that comes in handy. I would leave that checked so that you can get access to it easily so that you can run uh, an actual rule or stop a rule if you need to if something goes wrong. So it just gives you quick access without having to go into system preferences. Uh, I can also set notification options here. Let me just go ahead and click on that. So I can have notifications for any errors that happen, uh, file events or trash events. And what that'll do is cause uh, a notification to slide out on your desktop to let you know what's happening with Hazel uh, if any of these different events come up. And you can uncheck the ones that you don't want to see. In my case, I'm going to leave all of those there and just click OK. Now I can check for updates of the application. I can set all of that in here. And then my license information goes right here as well, as well as the uninstall if I want to uninstall it. So that gives you the information there. Let's go ahead and just uh, take a look at the trash area real quick because one of the things that Hazel does do is it also will keep your trash clean and up to date. You can see here that I can choose when I want trash to be deleted. I can delete files sitting in the trash for more than, and if I just uh, check this, I can say a week, I can say an hour, days, month, year. Uh, so I can go ahead and set whatever terms I want there. Uh, I can also choose to keep the trash size under a certain size. You see here one gigabyte uh, all the way up to a percent of disk capacity or megabytes. Uh, and I can say oversized files should be left as is or deleted immediately. So if I put a big file in the trash, do I want that to automatically be deleted or have it uh, be left as it is until the trash size gets to a certain size? So again, some nice custom uh, customizability for the trash that you don't get normally with Mac OS. Down here, I can say delete files normally or securely if I want to delete them that way. And then I've got this uh, Enable App Sweep. Now this is a, a really nice feature built into Hazel. What that does is if you delete an application, it will go through your system and find all of the different files that are related to the application that you deleted and display them for you so that you can choose whether you want to uh, delete everything or just the application. So you know when you have uh, different files that an application leaves behind, Hazel will go and find them so you can get rid of them. Again, a great feature that's included. And then I can choose Enable Multi-User Sweep. Uh, so any sweep will offer to throw away support files for applications uh, used by other users on the computer. So it even goes across users if you want to set that up that way. I'm going to leave those at the default, but I just wanted to show you that uh, this feature alone is a really just nice feature to have. Now we come into the meat of Hazel right here with folders, and you can see that uh, I've got a number of folders over here. I've got rules that I have set up here as well. So let me show you how this works. So I'm just going to go over to the downloads folder. So this is my actual downloads folder. I can add any folder at any time just by clicking the plus here and going to find the folder. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel because I'm going to use this one here. I can get rid of folders over here just by uh, hitting the minus. Again, it doesn't remove them from your system, but it removes them from Hazel. And then I can also, if I just uh, click on this here, I can import rules if I've got those uh, from another location. Uh, you can go on the internet sometimes and download rules if you want to use them in Hazel. I can export my rules to share. I can load sample rules. 
Uh, I can have I can sync my rules uh, by folder uh, using if I just uh, click on this. I can set up a sync file that I can sync with iCloud so that I have it available on all of my Macs, not just one place, so I don't have to duplicate it all the time. Uh, if I've got an existing sync file, I can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. I just wanted to show you that that was there. And then I can pause the download rules if I just want to put a pause on it because I'm trying to work on it and I don't want things to move around. Because as you'll see, Hazel works uh, almost immediately. So that's the folders that I would select that I want Hazel to watch uh, for cleaning or whatever I want them to do. And I can even use the desktop here as well if I want to. But right now we're using the downloads folder. Now in this window over here is where we'll put the rules for the folder that we've selected. So I just come over here and hit the plus. And we're going to do a new rule in my downloads folder. I can name it whatever I want. In my case, I download DMG files uh, to install software, and so I want to clean those up. So I'm going to call this the DMG rule. Uh, I can say if all, any, or none of the following are present. In my case, I'm just going to do one, so I'll leave it as all. And I'm going to say extension. You can see all the different things I can do there by date, by tag, all kinds of things. I'm going to say extension. And I can say is, is not, contains. In our case, I'm just going to say is. And it's going to be uh, DMG, because that's the file that I'm looking for right there. And again, I can add other conditions if I want. And if I find those files, this is what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tag to the file. And let's just call the tag software. There we go. There's my software tag. And it brings up all my other tags as well. And then I'm going to hit a plus here, because once I tag it with software, I want to move it to a folder. And what I've done... If I just say other, as I've created a DMG folder here in the downloads folder, and we're going to say open. So now I've got my rule all set. Now I can come in here and test it uh, just by clicking on preview and just selecting a file. So here's one that says DMG. I'm going to open that up, and the rule matches. So it means that it works. It found it. Uh, it's going to move it around. And so, uh, again, that's what I want to see. If something's wrong, I'll get the X, and it'll tell me why uh, there's a problem, and I can go in and fix it. So in our case, it works. So I'm just going to go and say OK. And so there's my rule up there. I'm just going to uncheck it for a minute. So that's my DMG rule. Now what I'm going to do is test this. And let's just see if it works and moves those files in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, open a Finder here. Here's my Finder window. We're going to go into the Downloads folder. So you can see there's my DMGs right there. I'm going to go ahead and check this rule. And I'm going to come in here. And what I'm going to do is, if I come up to the menu bar item up here, I've got the option to run a rule. And so I'm going to run the download folders rule. And so I'm going to go ahead and just click on that, and it should start to move the files for us. And you can see, there it goes. It's moving them into the DMG folder. And if I just click on this, you can see that there they are. There's two of them in there. Now, it's interesting that it missed this one right here. I'm going to run the rule one more time just to see if it doesn't pick that one up. Okay, so as you can see, it's moved all the DMG files into the folder. Uh, I had a process running in the background that was slowing things down, but you can see there's all the DMG files, and they're moved into that folder. Uh, let's go ahead and just put this down. So as you can see, Hazel's a pretty powerful application. Uh, you can use this for moving things into the Photos app and for all of your filing. Uh, I can come in and edit any time by hitting the pencil here. I'll go ahead and say cancel. I can also search for rules if I've got a long list of them. And I can say things like throw away duplicate files or throw away uh, incomplete downloads after a certain amount of time in here as well. Now, what I'll do in a future screencast is I'll show you how you can use this in some more advanced ways to do things like all of your filing and integrate it with other applications such as DevonThink, uh, ProOffice, and, uh, and some other things like that. So that's just a start to taking a look at Hazel for the Mac. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.